I'm not a Spider-Man kick. Like, I've been watching a lot of Spider-Man. Like, I watched the original with Tobey Maguire, and then I watched the sequel, and I watched The Amazing Spider-Man, and I watched... I've been I've just been like on a Spider-Man kick. I don't know what my problem is, but The Amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield isn't that good actually. I remember that movie being like awesome. I remember really loving that movie. No. Welcome back to Everybody's Movie Ever. My name is Justin, watching Everybody's Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Danny, champion of the world. It is celebration month, so be sure you're keeping up with everything right now. You can be entering the giveaway because the deadline is until the end of the month. Danny, champion of the world, is a 1989 Disney Channel television release. It is directed by Gavin Miller, cinematography by Oliver Stapleton, editing by Angus Newton and Peter Tanner. The music is by Stanley Myers, and it's written by John Goldsmith. Gavin Miller is best known for Dream Child, The Crow Road, and Tidy Endings. Oliver Stapleton is best known for My Beautiful Laundrette, The Grifters, The Cider House Rules, and The Proposal. Angus Newton is best known for The Crow Road, R3, Vampire's Kiss, and Complicity. Peter Tanner is best known for The Avengers, Hamburger Hill, and Robin Hood. Stanley Myers is best known for The Witches, The Deer Hunter, Prick Up Your Ears, and Jarhead. John Goldsmith is best known for The Island on Bird Street, A Bear Called Winnie, The New Avengers, and The Professionals. Danny Champion of the World is based on a book called Danny the Champion. Champion of the World, released in 1975, written by Roald Dahl. Shall we compare? Danny's mother dies when he's four years old. Danny's father operates a service station and garage. Danny discovers his father is an avid poacher. One night, Danny's father doesn't return home from poaching. Danny looks for his father and discovers he's been incapacitated by a broken ankle in a trap. The evil Lord Hazel decides to hold a pheasant shooting contest, so Danny and his father decide to poach all the pheasants. Danny and his father decide to crush up sleeping pills and put them in raisins in order to catch the pheasants without killing them. They capture 120 pheasants. The day of the contest, they deliver the sleeping pheasants to Lord Hazel. Humiliated, Lord Hazel leaves in a huff. The pheasants start to wake up and fly away except for six which are split between the sergeant doctor and Danny and his father. The end. There are definitely some differences. This wasn't the most detailed synopsis which makes it even more difficult to find out if it's relatively on the same track as the film. The film follows the story pretty faithfully except for they don't deliver the pheasants to Lord Hazel in the film. Lord Hazel and a bunch of people arrive at Danny and William's house and there's also a side story with Danny and his teacher and there's a lot more going on in the film, I feel like, but I don't know because I didn't get to actually, obviously didn't get to read the book, but, and there wasn't a more detailed synopsis. So I think it's pretty faithful to the book. There's just some differences for the film. The film stars Samuel Irons, Jeremy Irons, Robbie Coltrane, and Cyril Cusack. Samuel Irons plays Danny, and this is his only credit. Jeremy Irons plays William, and he's best known for Dead Ringers, The Lion King, Assassin's Creed, and Lolita. Robbie Coltrane plays Victor Hazel, and he's best known for Cracker and the Harry Potter franchise. It's Hagrid! It's Hagrid! He's Hagrid! Cyril Cusack plays Doc Spencer, and he's best known for Fahrenheit 451, 1984, and The Day of the Jackal. The film was made in Oxfordshire, and it takes place in 1955. Samuel Irons and Jeremy Irons are actually father and son and it was definitely palpable and very realistic and they were so sweet on screen together. I actually really loved the relationship between William and Danny, Jeremy Irons and Samuel Irons. It was so adorable. Lord Hazel, Victor Hazel, Hagrid, was awful in this movie. It's a horrible person but I don't think he's as bad as the um, corporal punishment teacher that Danny has. He's got a new teacher and the teacher believes in corporal punishment. If you don't know what that means, it means like beating your student to punish them. So like back when nuns would do the rulers on your hands or you'd get lashes or what, you know, hurt your, the cane would whip your hand, whatever, that's what, the teacher believes in and there's an amazing scene where the headmaster finds out and the headmaster is so mad at the teacher and it was such a great moment. It was like, yes, finally. There is a parent death in the film. Obviously Danny's mother died and it says so in the book so I was wondering if they would actually say it in the movie or they would just, it'd be unspeakable, but they actually do say. Um, William says my wife passed away, which is Danny's mother. I was so stressed during the scene where Danny has to go get his dad because his dad has gotten a broken ankle and is now could be shot for being on that land. It was really stressful. 
and really well done and I really cared about that. I think that might be everything. I thought the film was good. I thought it was cute. I think that is everything. The music was really good and Jeremy Irons is really cute in this movie, so. I think it's everything I have. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it like a six. It was good. It was really suspenseful. It was well, it was definitely well acted. It was well written, but I don't know. It was fine. So maybe six pheasants out of 10. Our total movie count is, our parent death toll is. <laughs> My count is still the same. If you want to keep up with my movie I'm watching, you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll find out what movie I'm watching. When I put up videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it is celebration month. Be sure to enter the giveaway. I hope you guys have been enjoying the little extra stuff you've been getting so far. There's much more fun stuff to come. Until next time, come on, subscribe. I don't know if you are, so you do. And don't be Victor Hazel or the teacher about it. <laughs> Horses in the back. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do 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 do. Okay, I'm done. <laughs>